All right, y'all. How's everybody doing? My name is Sharonda Parker, and this is Sex Talk with Sharonda. And today, we're going to be talking about um, an outdoor sexual experience and some different things that you can do to turn a really simple picnic into something extravagant and romantic and sexual. So I'm going to give y'all a chance to actually log on and invite some friends. Make sure you share this video. All you got to do is go down and click the share button because I know y'all not going to want to miss this. Y'all don't want to miss this video. I know all of us would love for somebody to do something like this for us. Let's see. I just want to make sure that I'm on the same page with y'all and that you can see me. Let's see. All right. It looks like I'm able to see some of y'all logged on. Yes, this is a lot better. I can actually see the video a lot clearer. All right. So... Let's talk about some of the basic things that we need. First of all, you're going to need a blanket, okay? If you have a regular blanket, what you can do is you can go to your local Dollar Tree and you can get a tablecloth. And what you want to do is put the tablecloth on the ground first, right? Because sometimes the ground have moisture and the last thing you want is for your blanket to be all wet and soggy and all of that. So what you want to do is you want to put down the tablecloth first as your, um, your barrier, your moisture barrier. Then you want to put down your blanket, okay? Next, um, you can go to, I got my basket from Walmart. You can go to Walmart, um, pretty much anywhere you can go online, and you want to order you a real simple picnic basket. Most, most picnic baskets come with a set of plates. They come with cups. They come with um, knives. The only thing that they don't come with is napkins, and most of them have a little zipper part in here. Well, mine does. And you just want to make sure that you pack some napkins for your mess that you're going to make. Because you want to make a, a kind of a living mess. Not, not too big of a mess, but just a living mess, you know. So, now that you have your theme, because when the person that you're doing this for, when you invite them to this picnic, a lot of times it may be a surprise. So, when they see you and they see the blanket and they see the basket, they already know, oh my goodness, somebody didn't plan a picnic for me. Like, how nice. Another thing you can pick up at your local Dollar Tree, a lip pack of rose petals. You don't have to, it, it's like 300 of them in a pack. You don't have to uh, sprinkle a whole lot down. But just, you know, you set in the atmosphere. You want to make it look romantic, okay? Another thing you can pick up, wine glasses. Now, let me tell you something. If you are uh, maybe celebrating an anniversary or you're celebrating, you know, a birthday or you just really want to, like, take it up a notch, my wine glasses aren't great, okay? So you could go to somewhere um, local, one of your local places that engraves glass and let them maybe put the person's name on it or, or some type of message on it. That's just if you want to take it up a notch. But if you buy one on a budget, go to the local Dollar Tree and get you two wine glasses. Now, if you're going to be serving champagne, then you want to get flutes. Those are the longer ones. Not the wide wine glasses, but you want to get flutes if you're going to be doing champagne because champagne goes in the flutes, okay? Go to your local grocery store. You want to get fruit that's already cut up. You don't want to go to the picnic with knives and all this, trying to set all this stuff up. They have this stuff already done for you. So you don't have to do a whole lot. Or if you one of the people that have a lot of time on your hands, you can go to the grocery store ahead of time and if you have time to really prepare, you could get the fruit and you could cut the fresh fruit up yourself, put it in a Ziploc bag, separate it, and then once you get to the picnic, again, my favorite place, Dollar Tree, get one of these little clear trays. Or if you got something nice and fancy at home, put your nice fruit on the tray, okay? Presentation is everything. See, I'm, I'm the kind of person like this here. If you're going to do something nice for me, presentation is everything. I love for things to be presented in a certain manner to let me know that you took time and you really thought about this and you really planned something really nice for us. And you know, that, that speaks volumes to me. Okay. Another thing you pick up from your local grocery store, you pick up the fruit, some whipped cream, can't go wrong with it, baby. Just some whipped cream. Next, if you're going to do wine, make sure you pack one of these. What is it called? 
a corkscrew. Thank you, <laughs> my assistant. Make sure you pack a corkscrew, okay? Now, I got this from the Beverage store, um, and this one is one of the more pricey ones, but the reason I went out here and invested in one is because the little cheap ones that I was buying, they always kept breaking. So I just went out here to spend $20 on a sturdy one. That way, when it comes time to open up my wine, I could do it with no problem. Another thing is, if you want to get your wine bottle engraved, you can do that as well when you get the glasses done. Mine, my family got um, mine's done this weekend because we celebrated our anniversary and they got it engraved with Love Never Fails, okay? So, you know, if you're just trying to add that little special touch, that's just something else that you could do, okay? So, I'm going to show you how to open up the wine bottle because I know not everybody um, has had to do this before. And I don't want you to get out there on your picnic and you like, oh my goodness, I don't even know how to open up this bottle, okay? Real simple. You want to line the corkscrew up and all you want to do is just twist it, put a little pressure on it, just a little bit, and twist it down. And this just gave me a reason to drink some wine today because I went through my other bottle so fast. Oh my God, and it was so good. I can't explain how good. And all you're gonna do is just continue to add pressure and twist it. And you're gonna keep going and going and going and you're gonna notice that as you're twisting, the little handles are gonna start raising up. And this is when you, um, when you invest in one, a good one. Now you see the handles are starting to raise up. This, this makes it easy for you, baby. This is what makes it really, really easy. And you want to keep on going because that means it's down up in there. Okay. Now, all you want to do is pull down. Now, you see that cork is coming up? Y'all see that? Bam. Just like that. Butter, baby. Now, you got your wine. Now, when you pour pouring wine, you don't want to fill it up to the rim, okay? You just want it to be very nice. It don't have to be uh, filled to the rim. You don't need ice. It'll be nice if you had the wine chilled already. That would be good. But this wine here, I drank it just because it is so, this. Um, <laughs> the, the name of it, because let me tell you, I was telling y'all this in a fragger, but that's not how you pronounce it. It's nephrogger. Okay, not nephrogger. It's nephrogger. Because I had to uh, ask people, how do you say this? Because there's some really good wine stuff. You want to get this wine from your local beverage store, anywhere that sells wine. If you have never um, tasted wine, this is normally a really good first wine. It's not too dry. It's a really sweet wine. Um, and everybody that I introduced this wine to, they absolutely love it. I have not had anybody to taste this wine and say, oh my God, this wine is horrible. This wine is awesome, 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 awesome. So, you know, if you want to make it look like you really know your shit and you really know about wine, get you some of this here. You ain't going to go wrong with it, okay? So, I will pour the other person a glass, but I don't believe in wasting good wine. So, I'm just going to pour this glass right here for myself. And I'm, I'm going to sip myself. And then we're about to get into some different things that you can do to stimulate each other while you're out there on a picnic, okay? Mm. Oh my God, this wine is so good. Okay, so let's talk about different things that you can do to stimulate each other. First of all, we have different card games. that Now, this, this is the stuff you're going to get from the PPG stuff. We've never, but we will. That's the name of this game. We've never, but we will. See, I like games that allow people to have sexual dialogue, Okay. A lot of times people are very uncomfortable talking about sex and talking about fantasies and the things that they're into and the things that they want to try. This game opens that door for you. For instance, I'm going to read one of the cards and it says, we've never pretended to be strangers meeting and hooking up in the bar, but we will. So let's make this plan. This game is all about, let's make this plan. It comes with little cue cards, right? And if it's something that both of y'all agree to do, it says, okay, we're going to hook up at what bar? What bar are we going to hook up at? What bar are we going to go to and pretend that we're strangers? We're going up. Where we going up? Somewhere that all y'all familiar with. We're going to Bella Noche. Okay. 
We going to Bella Noche, and what you gonna be wearing? Oh, I'm gonna be wearing a black dress shirt, button down with some slacks, looking good, smelling good, and what you gonna be wearing? Oh, I'm gonna be wearing the, um, the tight freaking red dress, the, the red freaking dress. That's what I'm gonna have on, and I'm gonna be at the uh, bar, and I'm gonna be leaning over, and my hair gonna be like this, because he gotta know who you is when he approaching you at the bar. And basically, y'all setting yourself up to role play for the rest of the night. Now see, y'all playing this game and all you're doing is making plans to be intimate in different settings. Oh, well, we, we hooking up a Bella Noche. So the next question, are we gonna wait till we get to the house to cut? Are we gonna cut in the car? Are we gonna cut by the dumpster back there by Bella Noche? Or are we gonna sneak one of, uh, one of us in the bathroom at Bella Noche? What are we gonna fuck at at Bella Noche? Are we gonna fuck in the parking lot? Are we gonna fuck over there by the car wash? Are we gonna, yeah, what we gonna do? See, you making plans. Now, see, a lot of y'all going, y'all start making these extravagant plans like y'all about that life. And then when it comes time for you to really do what you say you're going to do, you be like, I said I was going to do that. No, baby, you're going to make these plans. You need to be about that life, okay? So this is a really, really, really fun game. We have never, but we will. And it gives, I mean, it's like 40 different scenarios, okay? So if you play in this game, sporadically and say, well, we're going to pick three cards and we're going to make the plans. That's three places in a month that you know you're going to, three different scenarios in a month that you know that you're going to be role playing and doing something different. A lot of people are scared of role playing because they're scared of the unknown. But this allows you to take your role playing to a whole nother level. Okay? The name of the game, we have never, but we will, and it is $12.99 at the PPG store. Another thing that you need, because, see, at the picnic, not, not everybody's going to all out have sex at the picnic, okay? But some people will do oral sex, and some people will have what I like to call a sexual experience at the picnic, okay? So, just for, if you know me, you know I believe in lubricant, and no matter what you're doing, you need to use some lubricant. So, we have this little travel size that you can take with you, not only on a picnic, but you can travel on a plane, when you're going out of town, you don't have to be taking your big bottles of lubricant. You got your little travel size. This is the um, Elite Lubricant. Love, 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 love. It's a hybrid that means it's water-based and silicone mix, okay? So you don't have to worry about reapplying over and over and over and over again. And this is also online at the PPG store, www.thepppgstore.com, right here. Then we have my favorite, Rouse's Flavored Lubricant. Now, y'all know I told y'all on the last uh, the last uh, live video that I did to dig out a taste, okay? So if you're thinking you're about to show up to this picnic in Louisiana in the summertime and that dick ain't going to be getting sweaty a little bit, you got another thing coming. So if you're trying to help with that little taste, the dick, because some of y'all don't like the way dick tastes, so if you don't, get you some Rouse's Flavored Lubricant so that you can mask that taste. Or... If you want to wear your little sundress to the picnic and you don't want to put no panties on, just slide your little dress up and dress a little bit down there on the pussy and let him go to work. The pussy's going to taste like Jolly Ranchers. See that? Now, you ain't all out having sex, but you're having a sexual experience and you definitely having some good oral sex. So, this is the Razzle's Flavored Lubricant. Okay. Stimulators. Okay. You don't want to have to take all your, your big good toys and stuff out there on the picnic with you. But I have some throwaways. You know, y'all know what a throwaway is, right? You use it one time and then you throw it away. I got some throwaway toys that work right from when you need them. Then you just toss them. This is called a ghost stick. Why do you need a ghost stick? One, the battery is already included and it's a throwaway. You ain't got to take your bullet. Go grab your ghost stick. This is a little stick that vibrates and it has little prongs on it that stimulates the clitoris, okay? And another good thing that the ghost stick has is there's a slim cock ring that's attached to it that you could pull out, and now you just created your own toy. So you slide the cock ring down on him, and you get up on that man, and you straddle him, and you go to work. So not only can you use it as a stimulator, but you can also double it as a vibrating cock ring, and it's just a little throwaway toy. You don't have to worry about packing all your good stuff, okay? Batteries are already included. Another item, the Humdinger. This is a vibrating cock ring. Another throwaway toy. These are not lifetime toys. These are not toys that you're going to use over and over and over again. Because after about 45 minutes or an hour, the battery goes dead and you got to throw it away anyway. But 
if you fucking on the go, this is, you know, and some of y'all be having y'all little, uh, y'all little booze on the side and you can't take your shit from home. You trying to catch you one right quick, throw away. That's what they fuck. Frisky finger. I love, 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 love the frisky finger. This is a vibrator that goes on the finger. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on because, again, the battery is included. And you can trace the neck with it. You can stimulate the nipples. He can stimulate the clitoris. You can wear it and stimulate the nut stack. It's so many different things that you can do with your frisky finger. Now, this is a $20 toy, but bitch, don't throw this one away because this one takes a battery. You don't throw this one away. You just slide this one back in your purse because this your little travel companion. The frisky finger is one that you're going to travel with. Oh, yeah. See, I told y'all, we're going to have outdoor sexual experiences. We're going to have fun this summer. And just in case you didn't know it, see, June starts the celebration of outdoor sex, right? But statistics show that July is the busiest month for couples to have sex. Couples have more sex in July than any other month out of the year because couples are on vacation more in July. And when people are on vacation, they're not worrying about their jobs. They're not worrying about the regular routines in life. So guess what? They give you more time to what? Fuck. Yes. You can have as many sexual, sexual experiences as you want when you're on vacation because you ain't got nobody knocking on the door talking about mom. Mom. Ma, you ain't got that, okay? You are alone with your spouse, your man, your woman, and y'all can turn up as much as you want to, okay? The last thing that I'm going to talk about, and this is, ladies, you're going to put these panties on before you get to the picnic, okay? These are vibrating panties with the remote control, all right? You're going to slide these on before the picnic, all right? And when you get to the picnic and you done fed him all of this nice little stuff real good, then you're going to hand him the remote control and you're going to let him operate the pussy from afar. See, men like stuff like that. They enjoy stuff like that. Now, you know, y'all out in the public and you can say, okay, baby, we're going to wrap this picnic up. We're going to pack all this little stuff up and put it in the car. Let's go take us a nice little walk around the lakes. Yes. And while you walking, he operating the pussy. See, y'all don't know, baby. You, you, it's things that you do. Louisiana has so much nature and so much uh, stuff that you can see and, and view. Like, Louisiana is one of the most uh, beautiful states when it comes down to outdoor scenery. So, you know, get your little spot and, and park and walk and let them operate the pussy while y'all walking and talking. I want to see, bitches, you're going to start talking in tongues while y'all operating the pussy while you're talking and walking. I want to see if you're going to stutter. Yes, because I know you will. Because this one here has multiple settings. So when he turn it, he can turn it up and down, slow it down, speed it up. You know, you just... I, you know what? I believe in creating memories, okay? You only have one life. And when you live in your life, you want to create memories with the people that you love. You do not want to spend your time in your relationship constantly disgruntled and fussing and arguing. Let me tell you something. This is something real simple that you can do. All of this stuff combined that you got from the grocery store, um, these lit fruit, you can spend about $10. You know, this bottle of wine is like $15. Like, it's not expensive. This stuff from the Dollar Tree, a pack of roses, $5. I mean, a pack of roses, $1. This tray, $1. Two uh, glasses, wine glasses, a dollar each. Like, you might spend $5 at the Dollar Tree, okay? Make your picnic enjoyable. Make it beautiful. Make it memorable. And that concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. I enjoyed you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure you go shop on the website, www.thepgstore.com. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on there for you all, thepgstore.com. We are open six days a week. We're open 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. And we only have a few dates for the month of August with bookings. I, um, no, I'm sorry. Like three dates for the summer. We have July the 7th available. We have August the 10th available. We have August the 31st available. And that pretty much concludes the wedding season right there. So if you have bachelorette parties between now and um, September, take advantage of some of those dates because wedding season is almost over. And y'all have really done well by booking the PPG store, okay? Deposits are $100, and that locks in your date. Now, let me explain this to you. When you pay your $100, that locks in your date is non-refundable, non-transferable. 
Why is that, Sharonda? The reason why is because when somebody calls me about their date, I tell them, oh, no. Um, LaMonica didn't book that date already. So you can't book this date. You got to pick another one. So LaMonica can't come to me the week before the party when she don't have the money to pay the balance off and say, I want to push my date back. It don't work like that because I didn't held this date for you. And all of the people that asked to book it, I told them that we weren't available because LaMonica put her money on the date. Okay? So... Again, that concludes Sex Talk with Sharonda. Let's see. Okay, you got yours book. Let's see. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any questions on here. Oh, my goodness. Let's see. You asking your auntie what she doing on here? Girl, auntie trying to get the juice too. Auntie want to turn up for uncle. What is she talking about? Baby, let me tell you something. Don't let them get old but clothes. You young, okay? And even when I get to talk to people that's in their 50s and 60s, you young, yes. The pussy still work, the dick ain't broke. Do Make it do what it do, okay? Y'all have a good one. That concludes Sex Talk with Shimano. Uh-oh. Hey, can I have some wine? No, you can't have no wine. Okay, I'll get some of